Okay, so here's one tubule here. Is this the testes is full of these tubules? Um, of course, we're only getting the cross section, right? They're long tubes all coiled together, but we're just getting the cross section. Um, let's look at the outside layer of the testes. This connective tissue layer is that tunica albiginia out here, the edge. And otherwise, it's full of seminiferous tubules going to higher power. Okay, so we're, we're zoomed in on a seminiferous tubule here. <coughs> These cells are more immature. Okay, spermatogonia. They're going to be like the stem cells of sperm and then they will undergo mitosis and they'll start to differentiate and be a primary spermatocyte, secondary spermatocyte, eventually a mature sperm. Those dark dots of this layer here are the heads of the mature sperm, still connected to these other cells. What do you think these long wispy things are then? That's the flagella, the yeah, flagellum of uh, the sperm. Okay, so when they're really mature, then they'll detach from the surrounding cells, and then they'll be loose in that lumen, Okay, of that semin um, seminiferous tubule, and they'll move to the male reproductive tract to the next um, next part. Eventually, they'll go up the vas deferens, you know, up and out through the male reproductive tract. So right now, this is where they're being made. So seminiferous tubule. The other thing we have to um, identify are any cells outside of that seminiferous tubule. These cells out here. Those are those interstitial cells of Leydig. And what do they secrete? Testosterone, right? The male hormone. Okay, so it's just really full of these um, seminiferous tubules, and that's where the sperm is on the inside here.